Hey guys, it's Landon with RH, and I'm going to do a video here that shows you how to put together some basic planimetric line work and some labeling for a site plan, or something like a site plan. We do, we do some other things like tentative maps and existing condition exhibits that are a little bit like a site plan, but we're going to pretend like we're doing a site plan. Uh, I will pause the, the video in a couple different places here so that I can do, do some CAD work and then I'll after I get caught up with some of the monotonous stuff I'll, I'll start the video again, I'll unpause it so you guys don't have to sit here and watch me draw lines and stuff but I, I thought this would be uh, thought this would be helpful I might try not to use my word whiskers uh, so like, you know be patient with me I've got a set of files here to start so this is just our QGIS oh there was a so this is our QGIS project file we probably won't get into that today this is a high resolution pretty high resolution ortho photo uh, that we just downloaded from uh, hexagon which is is a Leica company or like as a hexagon company anyways they've got some publicly available imagery from 2022 I think that we're going to use as our background reference image background image or a reference image. And I've got two CAD templates here. I've got one called Bricks Template. This is our standard Bricks CAD template. So I'm going to rename that right now. And we're going to call this, um, here's an um. Let's see, what do we want to call this? We aren't really doing a topo. I think I'm going to call this uh, GIS line work because it's not really a topo. We try and be careful about what we call topo here because we're surveyors. And I can abbreviate this. We can actually call this GISLW. And I'll, I'll work with my CAD manager, Elena, a little bit. And we'll, we'll figure out a standard way to do that. So this is what we're going to put our actual lines in. This absolute zero is a clean template. And what we're going to, we're going to use that to put in our, our actual orthophotography into a drawing. And I like the absolute zero because it's a clean template without a bunch of junk layers and dimension styles and all that garbage. We don't need that. So we're going to call this uh, GIS Ortho. So we'll go ahead and open that first. We're not, I don't think we're going to be working in Carlson in this video. We'll be working in, uh, in BricsCAD mostly because we don't need any of the survey functionality for what we're doing. Okay, so BricsCAD is popping open here. It's going to be a blank drawing, or almost blank. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to add our ortho imagery with, in BrickCAD, it's the, um, you know what? Uh, in Carlson, it's the GeoTIFF command. In BrickCAD, we can just use the XREF manager. So let's pull up XREF. And we're going to go ahead and add, whoop, sorry guys, we want to add an image. pull this over where you guys can see it and I'll just warn you that my cab runs a little slow when I'm running Camtasia the screen recording software so I've just got this on my desk desktop right now because I'm at home so there's our ortho photography relative path is fine we're going to use the geocoding information I'm going to hit OK and we'll zoom extents it's going to take that a minute to load that wasn't too bad okay so the our, our parcel that we're working on the site plan for is right here, this little farm outside of Sacramento, northeast of Sacramento. We're going to need a detail sheet here because the planner is going to want to see all these buildings. So what that means is we're going to be working at two scales. Now I already know from talking to my my cartographer, my assistant cartographer slash survey tech, Elena, that this overall scale is going to be 1 inch equals 200 feet. I'm probably going to do this down here at 1 inch equals 20 maybe. We'll, we'll see what, what looks reasonable for the detail. But you do need to know that the scales that you're going to be at, and, and we are going to have to be at two scales just because we've got a big site here and all the, all the buildings are kind of clustered in one location. <clears throat> okay, so but we've got the image in here. We want to go ahead and get it on the 
uh, an image layer. So let's go ahead and I'm going to open up my layer dialog here in BricsCAD. And CAD creates this stupid layer all the time. We're going to call it GIS Ortho. That's what we typically call that layer. And I am going to set it to blue. And then because I used the depth points, I want to make sure it's plottable. We can probably lock this. I've been getting better about locking layers. Oh, except I locked it and now I need to get in it. So let's unlock it and we'll drop this on there. And then lock it. Okay, so this is ready now to, to be used as a reference. So we'll save it. And we're going to just leave it open for now, and we're going to open up our GIS line we're drawing. Now in my little text editor here, I just put together a list of things I know I'm going to need so I don't forget. So on the line work, I'm going to need creeks, farm roads, buildings, utilities, which there's not going to be very much, and then annotations or labels. I'm going to need to do buildings, land use, major geographic features. I'm not going to do the, the public roads on this uh, because we're going to do that in our... We're going to do that in our uh, our boundary drawings because they have the road right away. We need to clean some of this up out of our template I see. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, get that drawing, that ortho photography drawing in here. So we're just going to insert it as an XREF, and then we'll zoom extents. Okay, so we're basically ready now to start our drawing. So what I'm going to do is I'm, I'm just going to draw a, a couple features, and then I'm going to probably uh, stop this video and start a new video. We'll get the layer set up, and then and then we'll do the we'll do the rest. But I just want to show you once you have this in now. So we've got this creek uh, runs through here, and I, I'm going to trace most of these features slightly off the slightly off the edge of the subject parcel because that helps. And and you might ask like, why are we tracing this stuff? We're going to show this image in the site plan, but it'll be screened back. And sometimes the planners will ask you to take the image off, and so then you you have to have some kind of skeleton of of line work. And so that's why I'm going to I'm going to trace the major geographic features. By the way, this is kind of cool. This is an old old run, runway I'm sure they used when they were crop dusting. So we'll just, we'll start this creek here and I'm just going to do, these are all going to be uh, 2D or, or light, what, lightweight polylines, what are called lightweight polylines in CAD. And you know, we don't have to go crazy here. We just want the general, you know, we don't got to be super detailed. We just want the general outline of the creek. And I, I'm not a hundred percent sure yet if we're gonna if we're gonna live this line work on with the photo. Uh, we might, and I might do two versions. I'm, I might do two versions of the site plan. We might do one with the line work and the photo, and then just one with just the line work. So I'll I'll see what Elena thinks about that. So we're just gonna trace this, and we're we're not gonna trace very much on this. Um, there's not a lot out here. Uh, there's a creek and a, and a few farm roads in this old runway. And that's about it, other other than the buildings kind of at the home site. So, like, I'm not going to, you know, go crazy up here with all this. That's not the main channel of the creek. We're just going to do the main channel here. It crosses the road. Whoop. And I'll, I'll just run that out a little bit off the edge of the property. Okay, so there's our, our first feature. Uh, so we're not going to have a lot more. You know, I'll probably come in here and I'll do this. I'll do this creek. Now, what I got to decide when I get to here is like, you know, it kind of comes into this big old marshy area. I'll probably just run the run the main creek line down here, and then I might just I might just kind of outline this. Yeah, I don't know what I'm going to do there. I'm I'm I might not. I'm trying to decide. I got to decide if I want to kind of outline this wetland area. I'll have to. Uh, I'll have to give that some 
I'll have to give that some thought. But anyways, we got the creek in there now. So I'm going to go ahead and stop this video. You guys can see now we're set up. We'll save it. Uh, I'm going to open the new video, and I'll have the layers set up. And then we'll go in and, and talk about uh, what we're going to do on, on some of these uh, main geographic features. Um, so, yeah, we'll do that. We'll do that in the next video.